Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 45 in chapter 11. Chapter 11 is about angular momentum. So from this follow-up problems, in this time we consider the object B is not exist, the mass B is zero. So only one mass MA exists. Now we need to find if the, this uh, rotation are each distance D from the O, each distance D from the O, so this side is D, this side is D. We need to determine the force A and B at the upper and the lower. So now we need to choose the origin different from O to do the calculation. So in this time, we we'll select the O at this part. Do you agree? So O plus at this side. So in this one, we can see when this do the rotation, so it rotate in this way, right? Omega. It rotate in this way. When it rotate in this way, we can see only mass A exists. So first thing, we need to determine the velocity for A. You can see we know omega. We know the radius for this circular motion. The circular motion for this one, you can see this length is Ra in this triangle. This is phi. So this is Ra sine phi. So we have the velocity for A. Now we can calculate the angular momentum for A. So L equal to the R cross B. This is R and then this is P and the angle is 90 degrees. So R, P, right? So R is the Ra sine phi, P is mass A times V. Now we input the V inside. We get it is a the equation becomes this part simplified looks like this one. As we know the net torque equal to dl dt, you can see dl dt in this equation is zero because all these are constant, it's not change with time t. So this part tells tell us the net torque is zero for this system. No external force acting on it, right? So net, net torque is zero. And the net torque is zero, things get it become easy. You can see, now we consider we have three forces, A, B, C, right? So now the net torque for this system, first thing we will consider is A. Object A, this one, times the distance from the rotation axis. So this, this length should be the D minus this side. The D minus this side, right? So D minus R cosine phi. And for B, it should be the D plus this side. This is the D. So D plus this side, D plus R cosine phi. So first equation we are, we are getting. The second one, we apply Newton's second law. So we can see this one minus this force minus this force should be equal to zero because the force is balanced. And also the system do the circular motion. Right, do the circular motion. So for C, the central force for C is should be the M A omega. The central force for C is the M omega R M omega square R. This is the radius for A, for A object. So this is R sine phi. The circular motion is radius, and the omega square, the angular velocity square times the velocity. This is the central force. Now you can see we have three equations. A, B, C, and then we have the three unknown quantities. So we can calculate the A, B, C for each one, right? So in this one, first part, you from the first equation, you can, you can write the B in this way, and input the F, B in this equation, and input F, C in this one. So this one, you input it inside, you, you get the equation look like this one. And then you can say only F, A is unknown in this equation, so you can get this F, A. By simplified, you get it there, and input it inside, you get FB. In this way, FA and FB are good. Thank you.